Good morning everybody and welcome to the third assembly of term six. Now can you remember the value we're thinking about? The value of perseverance. Now if you think back to my last assembly we were talking about getting all knotted up and how we should try not to get knotted up and to keep persevering. Well I found a couple of pictures for you which I thought you'd find interesting. Here, I've got Miss Giraffe. She has got herself well and truly knotted up. And her friend, Master Snake, has also got himself well and truly knotted up. But I'm sure with a little bit of help from their friends and quite a lot of perseverance, they will be able to get themselves unknotted. So I was thinking, what could help me or how could I help others to keep persevering? And I thought a lot of it comes down to what mood I'm in. If I'm feeling really happy, persevering is really quite easy. I'll give something a go and then I'll give it another go. I'll encourage other people. But if I'm feeling a bit sad, a bit miserable, everything seems so much harder. And I give up very easily. And I'm certainly not in the mood for encouraging other people. Now, I've got a story today. And it's a story all about how happiness can help us and it can help us to persevere. So the story is Have You Filled a Bucket Today? by Carol MacLeod. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's always there. You have a bucket. Every member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends and neighbours all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill their bucket. You can fill your own bucket too. So, how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make others feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill your bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their bucket. You'll dip into your own bucket too. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. 
all day long. We're either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mum and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You'll feel like smiling too. Smile is a good clue that you've filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like spending time with them. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school and your neighbourhood a better place for all. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill my bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. So the story showing us how a little bit of happiness can go an awfully long way. And if you feel happy or you're making somebody else feel happy, it will help you to persevere and to carry on. And at the moment, in the tricky times that we've got, that's really, really important. Our can-do crock helps us to persevere. If we give something a go, including sharing kindness, lending a hand, trying hard with our work, we will all feel happier and that will help us to persevere. Goodbye.